Hi, I have some loners here that definitely need some restringing and I thought it would be a perfect opportunity for me to create this video. To Diablo or not to Diablo? All right, let me see which rackets I'll be restringing. Now, in case if you're wondering, what is a Diablo? Well, it's a part that's located on a stringing machine right here. It's a cone shaped part that's located right before the tension head jaw grippers. And I'll get more into detail what that part is for. So although some machines have that part, some stringers opt not to use it. So I thought it'd be interesting to see what uh, using it and not using it how that would affect the string bed deflection and the overall tension. So what I did is I picked out three rackets and I'll be stringing it with three different string setups. So I'll do one with synthetic. I'll do a second with a synthetic poly hybrid and then a third racket with a full bed of polyester. So we'll see if there's any differences there. But again, what I'll be doing is stringing each racket twice because I'll string it with the Diablo and without and we'll see if it affects the overall string job. All right, so on this first stringing, I am using the Diablo, and before I put it into the tension head jaw grippers, you could see I just wrapped it around that Diablo right there. And I'll explain the advantages or the reason why stringing machines have a Diablo on the next racket that I string. But um, yeah, this is typically how I would string, using the Diablo. So on the next few couple of pulls, I'll demonstrate uh, not using the Diablo. I'll go straight in right there into the tension head jaw grippers. There were a couple of strings during this uh, stringing that I actually went in. I used the Diablo by accident. And if you watch this next one, I was just about to wrap it. And there, see, I went, yeah, I had to correct myself and I went straight in. So anyway, we'll take a look at the readings. All right, so on this uh, first racket, uh, this is the second string that I did on this racket. And this is without the Diablo, and this is print synthetic gut 17 gauge. And I strung it at 48. So uh, I took the reading of the first racket already. And so we're gonna compare the uh, string tension reading first. And on the first racket, I got 48. And this one's coming out at 48. So no difference there. But let's take a look at the string bed deflection. And on the first racket with the Diablo, I had 51. And this one's coming out at 51. So, so far, there's no difference in those two measurements. Uh, and this is with the synthetic gut. So. I'm gonna go ahead and string up the uh, next racket twice with the hybrid stringing. All right, so I wanted to explain one of two reasons why the Diablo is on a machine. And the first reason is to make sure that the string enters the tension head jaw grippers at a straight, in a straight line. So if I did wrap it around, it'll ensure that this is always going in a straight line. Um, an example of it going in not in a straight line is a racket like this where I'm doing a, a Prince 03 racket. So typically when you have to uh, tension the strings that are in the O ports, uh, you will have to lock your turntable. So I'll go ahead and do that here to make sure that the string is uh, angled the right way. So let's say I'm, I'm pulling this string. So if I, if I were to put it in the jaw grippers, you'll see right here, that it is entering at an angle. So uh, one of the things about the Diablo, again, is to ensure the straight line and it's to maintain more consistent tensioning. Also, I did wanna add, by having the string enter the tension head jaw grippers at an angle, uh, I would think that it would place more stress on the mechanism of the tension head itself. So I'm thinking that it's probably not as good for the machine either. The second purpose of a Diablo on a stringing machine is to reduce the amount of pressure it takes to tension a string. And what I mean by that, if it wasn't for the Diablo and you were going straight into the tension head jaw grippers, that jaw grippers would have to clamp onto the string and pull it, well, be tight enough to pull it. And as a result, sometimes it can cause uh, ghosting or it can 
cause smashing of the string. But by having the Diablo here, it's almost like having an extra hand in front of the uh, the jaw grippers, which uh, this takes on most of the uh, force that it takes to pull back the string. And this simply just clamps onto it and just pulls it back each time. So uh, the Diablo definitely helps in reducing the amount of pressure that's applied to the string. All right, so this is the second stringing I did on the second racket, and this is the hybrid. And what I did on the mains is I went with uh, Yonex DynaWire in the 1.25 gauge. And on the crosses, the uh, Yonex Poly Tour Pro in the 1.20 gauge. And the tension I um, went with was 50 on the mains and 48 on the cross. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take the ERT first. And remember, uh, oh, I, I didn't tell you. Uh, the first racket that I strung came in at 48 on the ERT. And this one's at 48. All right, so we're gonna take the uh, RDC. And the first racket that I strung, oh, by the way, I didn't mention, the first racket I strung was without the Diablo. And this second one that I just finished was with the Diablo. So, wow, I got 55. So I got 55 on the string bed deflection on both and 48 on the tension for both. So, so far, um, the tensions are matching up perfectly whether I'm using the Diablo or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and string up the third racket with the all polyester setup and see what that reveals. All right, so on this third racket, I'm doing the poly setup with, uh, I'll go with the Yonex Poly Tour Pro that I did in the hybrid. And uh, what I thought I would do is I'm gonna go ahead and since I have to string the racket twice, I'll do the first one without the Diablo and I'm actually gonna time myself and compare the time with the second when I use the Diablo. Some stringers uh, prefer not to use the Diablo because it saves them time, so. I'll just see if it actually saves me some time. And um, again, we'll take the readings at the end. All right, so that was in 14 minutes and 18 seconds. And I'll go ahead and string up this racket. Well, I'll take the readings first and I'll string this racket up again with the Diablo. All right, I had some technical difficulties. I did stop my watch at 13.43, and then I tried to reset the video so I could show it to you, but it was still ticking. So anyway, um, I did string it faster with the Diablo. So for me, I just felt like I was in a natural, more natural rhythm when I was stringing with the Diablo. So for me, it worked uh, faster that way. Uh, for other stringers, I'm sure they're used to not using it. So that's their rhythm and that's what they're used to. But anyway, let's take a reading on the um, tension first. And on the first racket I strung, it read 48. So we're gonna take a look at what this one came out at. And it's right at 48, so that's the same. And we're gonna do the string bed deflection, the first racket with Without the Diablo was 50. Alright, this 
one's coming in at 51. I'm just gonna take another reading. If it's at 51, we'll stay with that. If it's something else, then we'll do a third reading. All right, this one's at 52, so let's try one more. And then we'll settle on the one that it falls, uh, falls closer to, so 51. So yeah, so it was just one unit of um, on the string bed. So in terms of the difference in string job quality or uh, tension, um, I guess you're getting the same tension if you're using the Diablo or if you're not. Diablo or not Diablo? Well, in terms of speed and consistency, I think it comes down to the string as preference. I could string just as fast with the Diablo uh, compared to without. And the readings that I got uh, on the ERT and the RDC proved that they're both comparable. Now, as far as the Diablo itself, the function, I think it's best to use it, in my opinion, for two reasons that I mentioned. One, to make sure that the string is coming in in a straight line to reduce the amount of stress on the tensioning mechanism. And two, uh, the Diablo having to pull the string before it reaches the tension head will reduce the pressure on the string itself. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Happy stringing. And let your strings play. Have you heard of IART? The International Alliance of Racket Technicians is an independent global organization that seeks to support those interested and passionate about the art of racket service. As a premium member, you'll join our community of racket technicians where we share ideas and provide instruction. Did you know that the IART launched a free stringing course for its premium members? In this course, we'll help you achieve your goal of becoming a true racket stringer by teaching you the proper fundamental skills and starting you off in the right direction. We hope you check us out, and if you decide to take the course, we hope you enjoy it as much as we enjoyed putting it together.